Hey guys, welcome back to CBox Tutorial Channel. And this is our situation number 44, CBOR exam, November 2019, of Structural Engineering and Construction. So given naman yung ating uh, different properties sa ating beam, okay, so this is a T-beam. Andiyan yung AS, AS prime, then diameter of the uh, stirrups, H1, H2, then so on and so forth. So take note lang dito ba, we have two yield stress, ayan. So, FY sub B and FY sub V. Okay? So, if we say FY sub B, so this is, uh, uh, this stress is for bending. Okay? So, kung bending, applicable lamang to sa mga longitudinal uh, parts natin. And ito naman is for shear. Kaya nga, ano eh, uh, V, di ba? So, ginagamit natin yun for shear. And, yung mga bakal na nagre-resist ng shearing force sa ating beam is para sa, ah, uh, ties or stirrups okay so shear strength reduction factor is equivalent to 0.75 and the clear concrete cover is 40 millimeters and the maximum aggregate size na gagamitin sa ating uh, beam is 20 millimeter then number one find the minimum width p of beam required to satisfy on cover requirements and so on cover requirements kailangan nating uh, makuha yung mga standard spacing ng ating longitudinal uh, bars. Okay? So, siguro i-zoom na lang natin yan. Ayan. So, X X and then X. So, itong ano, X distance sa to or yung spacing between uh, longitudinal bars is merong ano uh, mga standard spacing so for number one where uh, we have letter A the diameter of the bar then letter B yung ating minimum spacing is 25 okay 25 millimeters and then number or letter C is at least four thirds of the ano, uh, maximum aggregate size. Okay? So, yung ating diameter ng bar dito, para lang naman, di ba? Is 28 millimeters. And then, ito, syempre, uh, as it is ito, 25 millimeters, hindi ba? And ito naman is 4 thirds ng maximum aggregate size. That is 20 sa ating problem. So, 26.67. So, ano pipilihan sa, ano, sa tatlo? Siyempre, yung pinaka malaki. Bakit? Kasi, kung uh, size, kung dimension kasi ang pinipili natin sa design, mas gusto natin ng mas malaking dimension para mas safe. Hindi ba? So, uh, therefore, ang ating X is equivalent to 28 millimeters. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung B. So, ang ating B is equivalent to, uh, this is the ano, concrete cover clear concrete cover. So, C sub C na lang. Ayan. And then, yung size ng ating uh, stirrups is 12 millimeters. Kaya, yung ating B is equivalent to 40, then multiplied by 2. So, tig dalawa. Then, plus 12 multiplied by 2 rin. Kasi, ano, dalawa rin yung ating, ano, tikabila, di ba? Uh, 2 legs. Okay? Then, plus... Ilan yung ating ano, bar? Uh, pat no, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 multiplied by the diameter of the bar is 28. Then, tatlong x. Ayan. So, masolve natin yung minimum B based on cover requirements. Plus 12 multiplied by 2 plus 4 multiplied by 28 plus 3 multiplied by 28. So, 300 millimeters. So, ito yung sagot. Yeah. So, siguro, bura yan ito. Okay. Then, number two. Ang tanong naman is, the minimum width B of the beam adequate for a factored shear force VU na 600 kN if the spacing of 12 mm ties is 50 Millimeter. So, di ba meron tayong equation ng spacing para sa, ano natin, stirrups? So, this is equivalent to S, ah, uh, sorry, 
S is equivalent to A sub B, okay, uh, multiplied by FYT, multiplied by D, over VS. Ayan. And yung ating VS, pwede siya makuha dito sa ating V sub U. So, V sub U is equivalent to um, phi multiplied by V sub C plus V sub S. So, yung ating V sub C is the uh, shear in the concrete. And dito naman is uh, stirrups. Okay? Ito naman yung ating factored shear. Okay, then yung ating ano, um, shear in the concrete is equivalent to may equation to eh, sa pagkakaalala ko. Ah, yes. This is equivalent to 0.17 uh, lambda multiplied by square root of F so, uh, F prime C then multiplied by B W multiplied by effective depth. Okay, so yung ating ano, uh, BW, ito yung kinukuha natin na B. Okay? So, kailangan makuha natin itong VS mula rito. Tapos, given naman yung ano, diba? VU. So, makuha natin yung VC. Ayan. Basta makuha natin yung VC, makuha natin yung B. So, VS, ah, siguro dito na lang, no? So, VS is equivalent to AV FYT multiplied by D over S. Yung ating FYT, that, uh, that is equivalent to our FYV. So, T kasi is ties. Then, area, dalawa kasi ito, diba? So, ibig sabihin ng ating A sub, uh, A sub V is pi over 4 D squared na 12. Then, multiplied by 2 kasi... Uh, two legs. Then, FYT, which is 275. Then, ang D natin, effective depth. Okay, meron na ba tayong effective depth? Wala pa. Okay? So, sulit natin itong mga top. 55 millimeters ang, ano, ang A. Then, ang ating, ano, uh, H2 is 475. Then, H1 is 125. So, magkakaroon tayo ng ano, overall depth. Ayan. Then, ito naman, hindi ba ito ay 40? Ayan. So, ang ating overall depth, ito na lang siguro, ang ating D is equivalent to, ah, sorry, effective depth pala. Ang effective depth natin is, so, ba't 125 plus 475. So, 600 ang overall depth. Then, minus 40. Ito. Then, minus isang, ano, uh, isang stirrups, no? So, 12. Then, uh, isang buo na diameter bar. Then, talahati ng 55. Yan. So, masasab natin yung, ano natin, effective depth. So, this is, 40 minus 12 minus 28 minus 55 over 2. 492.5. Ayan. So, may kulang ka ba tayo? Um, wala naman na kasi yung S given naman eh. Ang sabi niya rito, ang S natin is 50 millimeters. Ayan. So, masob natin to. This is in Newton. Okay. So, pi over 4 multiplied by 12 squared multiplied by 2. Ang ano kasi, 275 is Newton per millimeter squared. Ayan. Kaya, Newton ang masusod natin dito. Over 50. So, kung Newton, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilo Newton. So, 612.705 kilo Newton. And then, makukuha naman natin yung VU, di ba? So, i-divide na lang natin siya ng ano, uh, reduction factor. So, VU is... Ah, sorry. Meron pa tayong VU. Okay? So, ang ating VC niyan is equivalent to V sub U over factor or reduction factor then minus V sub S. Ayan. So, this is 600 over... Ang ating reduction factor sa shear is... 
0.75 then minus 612.705 so 187.295 millimeters so mukha natin yung B so this is 187.295 is equivalent to or siguro dito na lang <laughs> wag natin ano, sulat kasi bitin na yung ano, space diba? so masabi natin ng B so 187.295 ah sorry, this is not millimeters it is kilonewton yan. so ang kilonewton yan uh, i-multiply natin siya ng uh, 10 raised to 3 kailangan natin siya convert into newton then divide natin ng 0.17 meron mang given na lambda pero kung wala namang given kasi na lambda usually this is equivalent to 1.0 ayan then square root of f prime c uh, sa pagkakalala ko 28 megapascal ayan and then divide natin ng d which is 492.5 ayan so 422.76 millimeters ayan. So ang sagot dito sa reference is 370. Ayan. So may ano lang counting error. Nalagyan niya rin nila dito ng ano, ng divided by 2 yung 28. Kinalahati nila. Kasi nga naman ah uh, kasi tong ano natin AS is 8, 'di ba? 8 siya. So ibig sabihin two layers tayo. Ah uh, itong 28 over 2 is applicable lamang kung Andito yung centroids ng ating, uh, ano to? Uh, bottom. Okay? Ng mga bottom bars natin. Eh kaso, in this case, we have two layers. Therefore, ang centroids ng ating bottom bars is andito. So, ibig sabihin, ang kailangan natin ibawas is buong 28. Then, kalahati ng 55. So, kung double check natin, 600 minus 40 minus 12 minus 28. Then, minus 55 over 12. Ay, uh, over 2, sorry. So, 492. Ang, ang nangyari kasi, ito, na-divide niya ng 2. Ayan. So, ang nakuha niya sa button is 506.5. So, doon lang naman yun. So, siguro nasa nila lang sila na ano. Ang ganoon din naman kasi usually eh, uh, laging one layer lamang yung ano, yung bottom bars dito. Kaya, kalahati ng bar. Ayan. So, yun lang naman yung error. Dun. Okay? So, for number 3, if VU is equivalent to 450 kN and the spacing of 12 mm ties is 70 ayan, millimeters, what is the required minimum width B of the beam in millimeters? So, paras lang. Okay? Sa ating number 2. So, kunin natin ang Vs. So, Vs is equivalent to area V multiplied by Fyt multiplied by D over S. Yeah. So, papatan lang natin yung S kanina. Asan yun? Ayan, ito. Then, tama naman ito, no? Ayan. Pero sa reference, ano natin, sa reference pinat natin, 506.5 pa rin yung nailagay niya rito. No? So, nagamit niya talaga yung D dito. So, ayun, may error lang talaga siya doon. So, anyway, then divide na rin ito ng 1,000. So, 437.65. Tama ba yung ano? Yung, ano natin? 437.65. Ayan. And then, ano pa ba? Uh, BU. Ah, so, sabi. VC pala, no? So, VC is equivalent to VU over reduction factor then minus VS. 450 over 0.75 minus VS na 437.65. So, 162.35 kilo newton. Then, masusod na natin yung ating B. Saan yun? Ito. Tama ba? Yes, ito yun. Then, pata lang natin yung ano natin, BC. This is equivalent to 162.35. So, 366.45. Yeah. And, syempre, kung napansin nyo rin, ano siya, whole number. Okay? So, kung whole number tayo, sa design kasi, ayaw natin ng ano eh, ayaw natin ng ground up. 
pagdating sa ay wait lang akala ko spacing anyway kapag spacing kasi ano tayo round down kasi syempre mas gusto natin na mas magkakadikit yung mga stirrups natin kaysa sa magkakahiwalay sila di ba or magkakalayo sa so, round down kapag spacing pero syempre kapag dimension tayo round up yan so kung dito sa number 2 ang magiging sagot natin dapat rito is almost 430 millimeters. Tapos dito naman, ang ating B is, pwede natin sabihin na 370 millimeters. Ayan. Okay, so simple lang naman itong eh, problem na ito, di ba? Pas alam nyo lang yung nasa code. Tapos yung, ito, yung para sa shear, yung spacing, and then yung ating BU. So kakayanan natin yan, okay? So, this is our situation number 40 from Seaboard Exam, November 2019 for Structural Engineering and Construction. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this uh, video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye!